Alright, body lift is installed, but now I have this big old gap, and I don't like it. So we're going to get rid of it, babe, with the help of my wife and James, who is help, who, who is who helped put the body lift on. I don't, I don't think I got any pictures of it all completed. Wow, you can really see the dents in the camera. Oh no, that one just popped back in. This is how you fix a Ford Ranger, guys. Nope, it's not gonna work today. Never mind. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get this taken off. Would you like to do the honors, babe? You're gonna have to get down here. Let me go get you a creeper. You can lay or sit, whichever you prefer to do. You are gonna take this bolt and this bolt out. You're gonna have to put some oomph on it. Oh, seven eighths. It's not three. Not three quarter. Good eye. Good eye. Go back to the tool shed. It's thirteen sixteenths. All right. I was gonna ask you if we could put Here a ball you on your bumper. For what? The body lift specifically said. I know. What brand was that? What, what brand lift? Yeah, what brand lift? Um, performance accessories. Okay, so performance That's accessories. the one everyone if, swears by. If performance accessories gets to watch the video, we are going to test how big of a trailer we can pull with it. Just not this video. Well, I don't want to bend them. Which way are you pulling? Try again. Put it back on the bolt. I need the bolt for sight. Nope, wrong way. Turn it the other way. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. You're gonna have to pull hard. We put those on with the impact, didn't we? Probably. Let me go get her a breaker bar. You're good. No, let's let her do it like a real man. Here you go. There's a breaker bar. We're not going to make you do all the work, I swear. But your help's appreciated. I'm enjoying it. I want to see your grunt face. It's less work on me. There you go. I don't know how well that creeper's going to work out for you. That setup, though. Why are you doing it right? Yeah. You're racing with your feet. I, I like it. I might have to get it for you, won't I? I, could, I mean, you're doing a really good job holding the camera, little well, buddy. So I, I could yeah. Hit. I mean, you might you have to. You don't want me to hold. Camera, so I, I don't care who holds the camera. I'm not no doctor. I don't got the hands. Oh yeah, I'm shaking too. It's been a long day. That weed eater's still making me shake. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I can't do it. Okay. Good try. Those are really tight. See those muscles, James. Jamothy. No. Oh, dude, I thought it broke it. I thought I broke your striker. Did it come off? Did it come loose or? No, this is a. Uh... 12 point, not gonna work. You wanna go down to a 13 sixteenths? Either go down to 13 sixteenths or give me a 6.78. Oh, so I didn't even have the right. Thing. I don't have a 6 point. You also weren't putting enough pressure to figure it out. Ha ha ha, he told you. Because you didn't just round the. I, I just rounded the bullet. 
Oh yeah, that is a perfect 13 sixteenths. I'll be. All right, guys. It's in there on the top bolt. I don't know. It's a 13 sixteenths. We forgot that part. How do you feel? Do you feel like you worked out? Yeah. Did you break it loose? Yeah. Look at you go. You have to get something harder next time. I'll got something hard for you. Can't get demonetized for that. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get this off, and we'll come back. All right, we're back. We got the bumper off. It was hell. I don't know why, but the uh, lock bolt deal, retainer bolt, retained bolt, got stuck. Or captive nut, that's what they call it. It got stuck. This corner got stuck on the frame there. I don't understand why, but it is what it is. So we're going to go ahead and take the last bolt out for the receiver and then we're going to get to chopping and we'll be back when we get that done right yeah. all right receiver is out thanks to the lovely wife this guy had to go pee she did it, she did it. but we're going to go measure some shit up and then uh we'll show you what we measured how we're going to do it and then We'll get back to you. Alright, stuff's measured. This one is three inches. I'm going to take three inches out of this because I did a three inch body lift. We're going to cut inside the line on this one and we'll cut on the line on this one. Just the way it measured out. Alright, that's all measured up, ready to cut. I marked three inches out and then I changed some measures, measurements in the way that I marked it so I have to, had to mark how I'm going to cut everything. That side will be on the line. That side will be inside the line. And both of these sides will be inside the line. Alright, we have a new member to the party. Colton's here now. What, you just plug it up? I know, but like... It's from the old cord. Oh, it's from the old cord. You just never took it off? No. Buddy. You just mind your own business, bud. I make things work. It's a ranger thing. Shameless plug. Did you catch that or no? Yeah. It's the name of my YouTube channel. Yeah, James told me about it a while back. Are you going to cut it? <laughs> Why are you cutting? I wanted to cut. Okay, here, you cut. I want to cut. I was testing the equipment. You want to film? I was testing the equipment. Alright, we're cutting. Alright, we got it all tacked up. There it is. Took a lot of surface area out. But we're going to plate it and all that good shit. And uh, I'm probably going to go from here to here with a gusset. We're going to find out here in a minute. Alright, so Kayla just put down her first weld. We only made her do about a quarter inch. And yeah, it looks bad, but it's her first time. And I'm actually pretty happy with it. She did pretty good for this being a fucking 90 amp flux core welder. She did pretty good. That is all. We got one piece welded. Alright, we got her all welded up. We're going to... It's already cooled down on this side. We're going to guess it from the edge of this corner right here to the back. And same on the other side. And then this is where my shackle bolt sits. So we're going to go a little bit higher than that and gusset this to that. So that'll give us our structural rigidity back. And let's take a minute to check out these sick welds from that Harbor Freight Flux Core 90 amp. And then it's not so good because I burned it up. This other side really came out way better. It 
It's not a perfect welder. Roast me in the comments. I don't care. Can they roast me? Yeah, totally. I have my permission to weld roast you. Okay, that works. What do you think? You don't know if they can roast me? <laughs> Alright. We'll be back after we cut some gussets and all that good stuff. So now we are cutting gussets. So we're going to go ahead and we'll show you where these go after we get them all cut out once we figure out how we're going to do all this. Yeah. I don't think you're going to get that to hold. No, it's a little bit too long to go in my chop saw. That's what she said. Okay. Okay, You're going to go home? I have to. It's okay. Cook dinner and school. Have fun. Thank you for your help. Okay. See you in the next video. Yeah. Maybe. Alright. James got all the brackets cut. I was basically saying bye to my wife. She's leaving for the night. But these will be all of our uh, gussets. I said brackets just a minute ago. But a little triangle piece here is going to go right there. Yeah, there we go. It's going to go right there to provi provide our... <laughs> Sketchy things happen time to time. But this one will go here, this way. It'll go there. And then these other pieces, good thing that's not hot, will go... Let me turn this the other way. This one will go here. And no, it's not going to be a perfect fit. I'm going to weld the gap. And we were going to chop this off flush, and I may still do that with my grinder, but I think we've both had enough with the uh, chop saw. So, yeah, that'll go there. We'll be back. Alright, so I lost a very large section of video, probably about um, probably about five minutes worth of worth of footage. But we went ahead, we got everything gusseted up. We went ahead and put a gusset here. And let me see if I can get where I can see it. Right there, there's a triangular piece. Yeah, you can see it. So, this piece from here to here, that's what we put in as a gusset. They're welded front and back. We decided not to plate it because the welds put in, the, they went in so well. And the whole reason we did this is because I put the body lift on and I had a three inch gap from the hitch to the bumper. And I don't like the way it looks. That was 90% of why I wanted to do it. But I was also having an issue where my shackle bolt was getting into the hitch. And so when I took those three inches out, it took out, um, I'd say, one and a half here. And now my shackle bolt shouldn't hit anymore. Which, granted, I was also getting stuck when I'd go to get the wheel back up. The, sh the top of the bolt would be stuck on the outside of the hitch. So that problem should be solved as well. But now we're going to flex test it and see how it does. Yeah, you're still way far away from the bump stop. Yeah, I don't believe the bump stop's going to be the primary factor here. Leave her there. I just want to look around. So, definitely not going to have a problem hitting the hitch anymore. 
I think I want to do something different with this shackle mount, which will be coming soon. These leaf springs need to go as well. We'll talk about that on a later video. Mad flex. The, uh, at full flex. But you can go more. Get a, get a shot of where I stand. Yeah. Yeah. Six foot three guy. Stand next to you. <laughs> six three. Thanks for the height. All right. Are you nice? <laughs> six one. Six one. I'm sorry. Okay. Six three. But dude. let's get a. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. We got a couple more inches. <laughs> that's what, what he do. said. Yeah, there there is more. The uh, the front is pretty much limited. That that's as far as it goes. That's with the sway bar out. So that's that's it. And yeah, it's it's over. You want to go ahead and get that tire off the ground, or is that other one up too far? Is there a too far? I mean, I don't see anything that it's going to affect. It's probably just stuff falling over in the bed. Oh, you had a drink in there. No, I already I already drank the rest of it. Oh. Did it start to pull that tire? It's getting the weight off of it. Uh, go, go check the bed and cab clearance. So you're definitely digging in on the passenger over there. No need to go down. Hold on. I don't really care about that. Yeah, it's it's getting into the cab there. I, I think this is all your lit shackles can take. Yeah, probably. <clears throat> uh, that might be my limit there. You want to measure it? Um, yeah, let's go ahead and measure it. You want to take the camera, sir? I'll take the tape measure. Wow, that is... These shackles aren't happy. No, they're not. It, it's more the mount than anything. Uh, middle of the tire to the top of the fours. Give you a lot more tape than you need there. 34 and a half. 34 and a half. That's fucking good. That's good for how you're limited at your shackles now. Well, I have a fix coming for that. So, yep. it all works out. And look at that. It didn't get stuck on the shackle bolt this time. Plenty of clearance. Plenty. The only thing we were not able to accomplish tonight is getting this bumper straight. We tried and tried and tried, but the, the brackets that came from the uh, body lift, I'm not going to say their brand name. Actually, we did earlier in the video, I think. It's not a big deal. But I'm not, I'm not upset with it. They had good brackets. They just weren't bent quite well enough. They, they should have bent them a bit more. Other than that, I'm happy with it. And so it's, I'm having a hard time getting this bumper to line up. But we'll deal with that on a different day. And it's not that big of a deal to me. I don't care. But I also don't have the gap anymore. And I'm not even sure what I'm going to title this video yet. But yeah, no gap. Very happy with that. And I should still maintain all of my towing capacity with no issue. What are you looking at, bud? I was, I was looking at your leaf spring hangers. Oh, yeah. Because I feel like that's all, that's everything we heard cracking and popping was the shackles and leaf spring hangers. I wonder if I'm also limited on my shocks now. I, well, it didn't feel like you hit the bottom on up travel. I'm sure it was limited down travel, but I think it's still plenty of popping. Well, we're going to go ahead and cut you guys off. Oh, I hit myself in the head with the ratchet. Shit got wild out here. We're going to go ahead and cut you guys off. Um, thanks for watching.